Time for a request from the top tier of our Patreon page, The Inner Circle. Bray, you are up today. Thanks so much for being a part of our Patreon page, for supporting Reaction Therapy and our mission to spread mental health awareness to the world. You selected Fora today. Sora is the name of the song. Look at that, Fora. Sora, I cannot wait to hear what this says. You know our mission. Without further ado, it is time for Fora and Sora. Boy, this, this already sets up, man. For anyone who's ever lost someone, Fora goes deep. Fora just hits right to the point, the ones I've listened to, and you know, there's no holding back. Bray, thank you for bringing the deep stuff. I haven't even heard it, but I'm, I just got a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. For anyone who's lost someone, like there's a crib. I, oh, I pray it's not a child. I do this every day in my office as a mental health person, right? But gosh, grief is something I've admitted I struggle with a lot. I can work with it. I can do it. But it is not something that is... I'd rather have confrontation and couples fighting with each other in my office. My wife is amazing with grief. It is her cup of tea. She is great at it. She doesn't want anything to do with couples fighting in her office. It's something how we find our thing that we work with best. But it's just so sad. It's, oh, boy, no. For anyone who's lost someone. Mm. I was torn apart. Ah. Now I'm living with a broken heart. Yep. Wish I knew the reason why, but I just don't. Look, if God really loves us, why would He take the only part of me that I couldn't hate? People. That voice. He has got a voice that pierces straight through the heart. It's just you hear the agony, you hear the pain, you hear the the desire at times, and he says it so well. When I lost you, I was torn apart. It's a piece when you lose someone, anyone, but oh man, I just don't know. It just looks like a child to me. When you lose someone, there is a, a piece that will never be replaced. It's not coming back. And living with brokenness, just an emptiness, is so much of a struggle. It's like dragging weights behind you. If God really loves us, why would he take <sighs> the only part of me that I couldn't hate? Isn't that something? This has got to be a child. He got that line by itself. If God really loves us, why would he take? People ask that all the time, and I want people to ask questions like that. That's what faith's about. Sometimes we just don't know why. And we won't know why, because being with God is not being on earth. This is not the eternal. This is not the ultimate. So we're human, and we are dealing with, with fragments and brokenness and, and hate and, and not good in the world. It's just not all good here. And so, man, just a lot of questions. And then you pair those two together. God really loves us. Why would he take the only part of me that I couldn't hate? And if this is a child, there is no way as a parent for me I could look at my children and hate. But I could hate myself for what I've done, who I've been. What I, I, It's so easy for us to hate ourselves. And it's so impossible when you really have that love for a child to ever hate a child. It's nothing but love. God, tears me up. <clears throat> I'm living with a broken heart. Wish I knew the reason why, but I just don't. Look, if God really loves us, why would he take the only part of me that I couldn't hate? People say it's just a part of his plan, but I think life is just a fucking mistake. Maybe I'm just to blame. Every night I stay up writing your name. Every night I stay up hoping that you are still. 
And the liquor doesn't make it any better Lately I just wanna sleep forever Wanna tell your mom how much I miss you I just don't know how to put the words together Fuck, maybe I didn't deserve you Maybe this world would've hurt you But I wish you knew how much we would've loved you Maybe I just need to learn to Move on and forget, right? I stay in my thoughts all through the night Wonder how you would've sounded, smelled and wonder Seeing people lose children, and there's nothing that can be said. And the only way to relate is somebody else who's had the same thing happen. And he's at, he is saying everything, everything I've heard before, and everything that's very natural and normal. Oh, the liquor doesn't make it any better. Coping doesn't make it any better. Trying to avoid an escape doesn't make it any better. He knows that. I know that. But all I want to do is sleep forever. Just want to go away. There's no reason left to live. There is reason, but that's the feeling. Why even be here anymore if the very thing I treasured is gone? I can't even speak it. Can't even like put my feelings out. He's doing a tremendous job of it. And then you go into, you know, the grief, how it has, you know, so many different stages. Then he goes into this blaming of maybe I didn't deserve you. Oh, or maybe this place would have been horrible for you. Maybe that's the reason you're not here. But I wish you knew how much we would have loved you. I wish you knew. I wish you could know that. And I'm going to tell you, as somebody who believes, that child does, does know that. <clears throat> Maybe I just need to learn, move on and forget. God, it's not, that's not it. You have to move on. You have to live life. You have to keep going. It's part of why therapy matters, right? Mental health matters, y'all. If nothing else but to have a place to say all of this and know you're not going to be judged, you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be given excuses, you're not going to be told by somebody, suck it up, it's okay, move on, or whatever. You're not going to be... You're going to be accepted, heard, and also be given help to see what the next step is, to be to see where life goes. Uh, it can be super beneficial, y'all, because if you've been through this, it makes you just want to quit. It right, I stay in my thoughts all through the night. Yep. Wonder how you would have sounded, smelled, and wonder what you would have looked like. Still got all of your things in the corner of my room. An empty crib and your little shoes in case I wake and none of this was true. And I just don't know how to live anymore. And I just don't know what to do. All that I know is one day hope I get to meet you. Feel that day is coming soon. Sorry. I'm assuming this is going to be his daughter. I'm assuming he never got to meet her. I'm assuming that he, they had a plan, they had it set up, they had the, the crib, they had the shoes. Like, mm, it is so devastating to have something planned that a life you've created is going to come into this world and then it's not. And I'm going to tell you, like, there's nothing that can be said to make this situation better, but you wonder how they'll sound, how they'll smell, how they'll look, how they'll move around. The empty crib. I don't know how to do it anymore. And I know I'll get to meet you soon. Uh, it's actually, I know I'll get to meet you. and I feel like it'll be soon. And part of that's just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to come meet you. And part of that's, you know, when it's my time. <clears throat> wow. Fora. What a, I mean, that, oh my gosh, y'all. I can't even like react to this for two reasons. Number one, my voice isn't letting me. God's probably like, just don't even speak, Tom. It's not even worth it. Number two, because he says it so well. There's nothing else that needs to be said. And number three, I want people to understand if you feel this way, get help. Because grief's real. It's not going anywhere. You can't avoid it. You can't ignore it. You can't just cope your way out of it. You've got to walk through it. He's doing that through this music and he's relating to so many people. But I want to hear the end of this again because 
that voice, if you hear it, if people listen to this music, close your eyes and just listen to that voice and listen to the words that'll be said, you can completely understand what he's going through. Look like, still got all of your things in the corner of my room. In that be crib and your little shoes in case I wake and none of this was true. And I just don't know how to live anymore. And I just don't know what to do. All that I know is one day hope I get to meet you. Feel that day is coming soon. room with a crib and a chair he's just sitting there with it probably never wanting to get rid of it to keep it in memory forever I, just, I see this so much every day in my office and work with people and walk with people through this that I know uh, this takes time but I also know life gets worse if we ignore it if we deny it or if we let it swallow us up so we have to keep walking through it. We have to understand that there is something beyond this. I don't know what it is. But I also want Fora to know that, man, sweet Sora. I also want Fora to know that there, there is healing in this that is to come. And, and a lot of the healing also that can come for other people just in hearing this and relating to it and having been through the same thing, that they can know that you putting this song out shows hope it shows hope it takes a lot of courage to do this for anyone who's lost someone oh, thank you fora i really appreciate you for putting that song out like that it's just simple it's your voice and your words so good, the piano in the background. Bray, thank you for taking the time to use a request you had for this song for this month. I really appreciate you for that and being a part of our Patreon page and supporting mental health awareness. That's what this song's about. The healing comes through sharing the story. The healing comes through understanding that you can still live still breathe, and still have a, a healthy, not as happy life maybe, but a different happy life in spite of the whole, and that you don't have to stay swallowed up with this forever. You don't have to stay in the grief forever, but you got to stay in it for now. got to stay in it for now. Remember, it's in Real Therapy. It's just time breaking down lyrics. If you want to help, please, please check the links in the description. It's what us mental health people do every single day. You deserve it. And leave us your comments. Let us know what you think about this. Man, oh, to meet for one day. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy. Yeah.